Hey everyone, so I'm at Dollar Tree right now. I'm hoping to find some new fall items. I'm gonna take you along, show you what I find. And I'm also looking for some quick five minute projects that we can do that don't take too long. So let's go see what I can find. Dollar Tree never fails on having some great pumpkins. I found this set of three ceramic pumpkins that I thought would look really great in a grouping. So I'm going to spray paint them with a flat white spray paint. Make sure you use a flat spray paint. It gives it more of a high end look and just really elevates your decor. The other tip I have when you're spray painting is just do a really thin coat. Sometimes we have a tendency to really like get all the spray paint on there, but when we do that, we get runs and drips. So do a thin coat, flip it over, do another coat. I think I ended up doing about three coats on these. Once they had a chance to dry, I'm gonna take them inside. I'm gonna be using some twine and I'm gonna start at the top and put a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna start wrapping the twine around the stem and I'm just going to wrap it down until I get to the top part of my pumpkin. And I'll repeat that with all three of my pumpkins. And I think these look so cute in a grouping. lot in my thrifting videos about buying hardback books at the thrift store, but you can also get them for really inexpensive at Dollar Tree. So I just picked up two larger hardback books. Next, I'm going to take off the dust jacket and I want to add on a new dust jacket. I had this fun wrapping paper from Ikea, but really you could just use anything here. So I'm gonna take my dust jacket and trace it onto the wrapping paper. From there, I'll just cut that paper out. Now I'm going to take my new paper and I'm gonna wrap it around my hardback book. Something I was so excited to find at Dollar Tree were these new rub on letters. Let me know in the comments if you guys have seen these. I'm excited about them. So I thought it'd be fun to use these on this book. So I'm just going to cut out the letters to spell out give thanks. So you just wanna pull it out, cut out the letters, and then you're going to place them individually on your book. Once you place them on there, you're just going to rub them lightly. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. And then you're gonna pull off that clear piece. I didn't have any trouble with these transferring and I thought it was really great. And it honestly looks like something I printed off my Cricut. I was loving this cute little owl that I found at Dollar Tree and had to use it. I wanted to make it look a little bit more farmhouse, so I'm going to paint it with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. Give your 
paint a couple hours at least to dry and then I'm going to come back in and sand it off. This is great to do with any piece that has like raised areas or something like this out. So just sand it off really well and you're going to get those dark features of the owl coming through. And how adorable does this look now for $1? So this next project I was really excited about. I found some more pumpkins at Dollar Tree. This time I picked up four of them. And just like the pumpkins I did earlier, I'm going to spray paint them outside with that flat white spray paint. And I'm gonna do it the same way. Spray paint them on one side, then flip them over, spray paint again for about a total of three coats. So I thought these would be fun to do like a cool paint dipping technique. So what you're gonna need for this, you probably already have on hand. Get any kind of tub or container that you can fill up with you know, about this much water. I use just regular lukewarm water. And then you're gonna pick out a few spray paints from your collection that you wanna to use. I went with like a muted blue and then I also grabbed the tan color. Now this is so fun to do and experiment with. I just, I thought it was so fun. So you're gonna start by spraying your spray paint into your tub. Now you wanna kinda of do it all over the place so that you're, you get interesting patterns. Make sure you have a glove or something on your hand and then you're gonna take your pumpkin and dip it into the paint. Pull it up and it should have like a cool pattern on it. Flip it around to the other side and do it again. Now, if it doesn't have enough paint on it for you, add some more spray paint to your tub, dip it back in until you get that desired look that you're going for. And then make sure you take the pumpkin and just set it out so it has a chance to completely dry. And I did this with the rest of my pumpkins. To finish these off, I got some Dollar Tree stickers and I'm just going to spell out the word fall on them. And I'm in love. It's a little bit different, but it's so fun to do. This would be great to do with your kids. So when I was walking down the floral aisle, I found these cute little signs with arrows. I'm assuming they're for weddings because they say gifts and reception. And I just thought they were really cute and I thought well, they would make some great fall decor. So I picked up that. The other thing that I grabbed was this farmer's market calendar. It's in just like the regular calendar section. Mine at Dollar Tree I found on an end cap. And there's so many cool different pictures in here that are gonna make just great signs. So I only got one. I kind of wish I would have gotten more than one. I may have to go back, but I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to tear out the calendar page that had the harvest sign in it. Next, I'm gonna line up the harvest sign and trace it, and then I'll cut it out. I'm also going to be doing this with white paper as well because when I put down the calendar page, it's pretty translucent. So if I did that, you'd be able to see the word gifts behind it. Another thing you could do to fix this would just be to paint your sign white before you put this down, but I just thought it'd be easier to use a piece of white scrap paper that I already had. I'm also gonna cut out the little pumpkins because I wanted to use those as well. So I'm going to glue on the white paper with hot glue. I'm also going to glue on the harvest sign with hot glue.
I needed a little piece to finish off my arrow, so I cut out another piece from the magazine cover to put on the end. And then I kind of, you know, played around with the pumpkins to where I thought they would look best, and I just hot glued those down at the end as well. Now to blend in the sign that I kind of had to piece together, I'm gonna to be using some white paint and just going around the edges and distressing it. I'm also going to be distressing with some brown paint as well. And here's a look at how this cute sign looks sitting out with some pumpkins. stack of glass bowls at Dollar Tree and I thought they'd be really cute as a candle holder. So I'm going to break out my E6000 because it has the strongest bond and I'm going to use it to create two candle stands. One candle stand I want to put be a lot higher than my other one. You're gonna let those dry completely before you do anything with it. Trust me on it, I usually let them dry overnight. Next, I'm going to take them outside and spray paint them with a flat black spray paint. This will take you about two coats. I also wanted to take some white rocks that I had from Dollar Tree and make them black. So the way I did that was just put them in a box and you're just gonna start spray painting them. And then I would like shake the box to kind of move them around and spray paint them some more. This actually kind of took more spray paint than I thought it was going to, and they were not completely covered, but they were covered enough that they were going to work for my purposes. I had these glass vases from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use some nautical rope that they sell on Dollar Tree, or you can pick it up at Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. And you're just going to start hot gluing around the base. You're just gonna wrap it up till it's about a third of the way on your glass jars. Next, I'm going to add some E6000 to the top of my candle holders and I'm gonna put the glass vases on the top. Then I'm going to fill it up with those black rocks that I just spray painted. Then I'm gonna put in two white candles. After I put in the white candles, I'm gonna to need to add some more rocks around the edges so it doesn't just look like they're sitting on top and it looks a lot more realistic. And here's the final look at the candle holders. This next project turned out so sweet and I love it. So I found this little picture frame in the wood section at Dollar Tree. I don't know if you guys have this wood section yet. I hope that you get it soon. I grabbed this and I also had this Buffalo check tissue paper I've had for about a year. It's from Target Dollar Spot. So I'm gonna use one sheet of tissue paper, but you could use any kind of tissue paper you want. Anything you had on hand would work. And I'm just going to cut it out so it's about maybe two inches you know, larger than my picture frame. Now 
Next, I'll take some of my Mod Podge and just put it all over the top and the sides of my frame. Then I'll place the paper on top. And then to wrap it around the edge, I just cut some slits in the paper and then wrapped it around, making sure that I had that glue on the side and you can even put some on the back to hold it in place. For the center, I cut it out in an X shape and just wrap the paper underneath and make sure that it was put down nice. And I just made sure that it was put down like nice and firm. I wanted to find a fall picture, so I went rummaging through my pictures and I found this sweet little picture of my girls and this was during the fall time. So I'm just going to take the picture that was in there and use it to trace out over the top of my picture and I'm gonna cut it out. Then I'll put that picture back into the frame and then just put that backing piece on. It'll just help your picture from bowing out. Now I wanted this to be something you could hang, so I grabbed some black ribbon that I already had in my stash, and I'm just going to cut it the height that I want it to be and hot glue it to the back of my frame. I ended up hanging this in the wreath that is in my bathroom on that old door that I have and I think it just looks so cute and it's a real personal touch that you can do for fall or any other season. I love having pictures of my kids out. I have this one at Christmas when they were really little standing by the tree. I put it out every year and I just love it. I must have had a really good day at Dollar Tree because I was seeing new things that weren't just in the fall section that were new to me. One was this cool rope. I had never seen this before. Is this new? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then I also picked up an organizer and I decided I wanted to make a really cool crate. So to make a crate, just start on the back of your piece and you're going to hot glue around the bottom. Now I did continually add hot glue around this piece. It wasn't like the tray where you sporadically. I did have to add that hot glue pretty much most of the way around. And I continued the rope up till I got to the top. Make sure as you're going that you're pushing it down that you don't have any like areas where you can see it because that just won't look good. So when you get to the very top, I did one extra lap and then I cut it off at the back and then I put the piece going down into the crate because I knew I was going to be filling it up so you wouldn't be able to see it. Then I decided to cut two pieces and make little cute handles on the side. Now to fill your pumpkin, you can use anything you want. I've been loving the pumpkins that they have out at Target Dollar Spot. So I'm just gonna put in a couple of pumpkins, but don't stop there because it's not gonna look full enough. Make sure you add in leaves or cotton or acorns or little things just to make it look finished. Dollar Tree has some cute pumpkin signs out. I found this one, but decided to change it up just a little bit because that's what I do. I also grabbed another calendar. This one said simply blessed on it, and I thought this would be great year round. So I'm gonna start by painting the base of my sign with two coats of Waverly White chalk paint. On the back of the sign, I'm going to pull off the bow and the sunflower. 
In the calendar, I'm going to tear out the page that says start every day with a grateful heart. And I'll just put my pumpkin down so it lines up over my words and I'm just going to trace it around the pumpkin. From there, just cut out your sign. And then I'm going to hot glue it in place by just putting a little bit of glue around the edges. Now I decided I wanted to wrap the stem with twine. So you're just going to simply start by hot gluing on the back, wrap it around, and then you'll finish it off by hot gluing it in place. I took a little bit of the extra twine and I'm going to tie it around the stem and create a bow. And here's how it turned out. All right, you guys, make sure you check the description box. I'll link all of the products that I was using, plus what I'm wearing. And you'll have to let me know which of these projects was your favorite. I'd love to know your opinion down in the description box. Make sure you're subscribed. I post several DIYs each week. And if you missed our last video, I'll link it here for you. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.